the cool thing about it is you have a visual representation of audio that's different from the way your DAW works. And so you'll think a little different and you'll get results that are different. And I guarantee you, you're going to get results that your client never expected. Hi, my name is Mike Rodriguez. I'm the senior audio mixer over at Trailer Park in Hollywood, California. Um, and I mix post-production. I mix uh, promos and trailers and uh, bonus features for Blu-rays and really a, a bunch of different things. Um, I got started in, I've been mixing for about 15 years. Um, and I was in music before that. Um, I started off as a uh, backline tech for different bands. I started with Striper and I ended up working my last one with Stevie Wonder um, as a keyboard tech. It's been a, a great run and uh, I really enjoy what I do. Uh, here at Trailer Park we are the world's largest entertainment advertising agency. Um, so we deal with the major studios and we work on big projects. Everything from uh, their marketing campaigns, trailers to uh, DVDs, bonus features, um, the little documentaries that you see on, on Blu-ray, as well as um, doing branding commercials for uh, national brands and uh, other, anything that has to do with entertainment or really, to be honest, we, we work on a lot of things where people want um, really creative inputs because nowadays it's there's a, a blurring of the lines between um, branding and showbiz and viral and and so we kind of here at Trailer Park we kind of do it all we use a lot of assets and and we get to mingle with a lot of different um, different aspects of advertising to really put out some amazing things. Melodyne is important to my job here. It's First of all, it's my own personal tool that I use. Um, as an audio mixer, you kind of have to stay fresh and you really want to um, come with your own tools and that's what's going to make you unique. You know, there's, there's tons of audio mixers out there. So it's all the tools that you use and, and I like to use Melodyne. Most people think of Melodyne as a music tool and granted, it's an awesome music tool. But I've been able to use Melodyne in situations that I never thought I I would have to. For instance, the DNA is, that's like, that's a little miracle in and of itself. And you figure you can separate notes by pitch. Well, guess what? The world is full of, of, of this natural music. Things are at different pitches all the time. So when I have to clean up something, if I can't get it in some of the other tools that I have, I'll just throw it into Melodyne and see what Melodyne does to it. And you know, every once in a while, it just surprises me. I shouldn't even say every once in a while. It normally surprises me what happens because it'll just break things apart and I'll be able to either um, pull stuff out or add stuff in or little bits of here, little bits of there. I use it literally as a, as a tool to help me make all this natural audio better. And if I need to pull out a sound effect that, that happens, especially constant tones, um, everything from whistles, bells, sirens, things like that, anything that's pitched, you can pretty much guarantee that Melon Dime is going to grab it. And it's, it's a great tool for doing that. Most people don't think about that in post-production. But sometimes Melon Dime can just do it. And the thing is, is it does it fast. You load in whatever little bit of audio you're working in and just let it do its, its biz and, and then just go to work. And it's really saved me. A couple times um, I've been doing cleaning up on an interview where they did a spontaneous, um, they did a spontaneous piece at a piano. And so you'll have the, the person who we were interviewing um, playing at the piano and singing. And, you know, they're not, they didn't know they were going to perform and, it, and it's they're kind of loose and, and maybe they might go flat a little bit. It's really great to have Melodyne available to just to fix that. And I've been made to look better than I should have <laughs> in some instances, I'll be honest. <laughs> you know, they're going, hey, you did a great job. I'm like, okay, I, thank God I had the tools. <laughs> so Melodyne in post-production, it's, it's, 
you know what? It's just a great tool to have. You should you should use it. You'll never know when it's going to be useful, but you'll sure be glad when it's there. And I just I keep it on my laptop, and just pop pop whatever sound I need to into it, and it works out really well. You know, if you're out there and you're putting together your little tool chest, your little war chest for for your you know, if you're out there and you're, you're starting off as a mixer, or even if you're, you've are you been a mixer for a while and you want to add something to your, your tool chest that you're going to bring to your mixes, um, you really need an audio editor like Melondyne because it's really going to come in handy. It's it's the Swiss Army knife. It's, the, it's like the second blade in your Swiss Army knife that you don't really know what to do with that blade, but, man, when you need to get it, it's there, you know, you're glad you have that blade because because really, um, you know, everybody goes for the DAW and everybody has their DAW of choice. But then, you know, Melondyne is the second blade and you're going to be pulling that blade out and you're going to be so glad that you have that because it's going to make you look good. I guarantee you, if you use Melondyne, it's going to make you a better editor. It's going to make you a better mixer. You know, Melondyne Editor not only helps you clean things up, and it, it's not only good for, um, you know, fixing pits and things like that, but really you can use it as a creative tool in the post-production process when you need to do sound design. And when you just want to manipulate something, and you have no idea, but you just want to do it different, you know, take your audio out of your DAW. Don't just get stuck in the same old, you know, pitch band and the same old phase and that same old thing, you know, take it and, and throw it into Melanine and experiment, experiment with everything from, from the pitch to the, to the DNA, to breaking things up, to um, the format. I mean, there's just the cool thing about it is you have a visual representation of audio that's different from the way your doll works. And so you'll think a little different and you'll get results that are different. And I guarantee you, you're going to get results that your client never expected. So, you know, Melanine is not just a, a pitch corrector. It's not just something that you're going to put as, as first aid. It's more than audio first aid. Melanine is really a great creative tool for the audio professional.